hello so today we are going to be looking at y delta transformations and we will see the relationship between the resistances in both configurations so y delta configurations look like this so this is the y configuration because it looks like a y so we call it y configuration and this is delta it looks like a triangle so this is the delta configuration this is how it looks like but in most of the circuits the all the variants of the configurations are common so here we have the t configuration which is analogous to the y configuration and we have this pi configuration which is analogous to delta this is what is most common in circuits so how do we get the relationship between the resistances in the Y configuration and those in the Delta well we go on the principle that the between two terminals to any two terminals the resistances must be equivalent because this is this is the same circuit we're not changing anything we're maintaining the same circuit so we have to get equivalence uh, resistance between are the two transformations so between a and c the resistance should be the same both in the y and delta configuration so here in the y configuration the resistance between a and c we have this r1 in series with r3 r2 is a floating terminal so it's not connected to this r1 and r3 so the resistance will just be r3 plus r1 but here the resistance between A and C you see we have a resistor RB in parallel with RC which is in series with RA so this is what the terminal R, uh, AC uh, sees this whole resistance so we have RB in parallel with RA which is in series with uh, RC so this is equivalent to RB times RA plus RC over the sum of all the resistances and so these two must be equivalent so R1 plus R3 should be equal to RB uh, RA plus RC over RA plus RB plus RC and so if we expand this we are going to get R1 plus R3 should be equal to RA RB plus RC RB over the sum of all the resistances so we can call this maybe equation 1 so if we do the same analysis across terminal AB and terminal AC for both uh, circuits we're going to come up with the equivalent relationships uh, for terminal a B for example we have R1 in series with R2 this is going to result in RC in parallel with RB and RA so this gives me RA RC plus uh, RB RC over the sum of all the resistances So this gives me my second equation and I also have between uh, B and C so I have R2 in series with R3 so R2 in series with R3 and this should give me same thing we have the sum of resistances down there and the two resistances in parallel are RC and RB so RC and RB and RA so 
okay ab plus ab arc c okay so this gives me my third relation all right so what if i do equation one minus equation three so what i get is uh no let me just do minus equation two so what i get is uh r1 plus r3 minus r1 plus r2 and this gives me r e r b plus r c r b minus so i'm going to take this uh this gives me r a r c minus r b r c since they have a common denominator so i'm going to just going to divide it by r a plus r b plus r c so this results in uh, this simplifies this so i get r3 minus r2 is equal to um, we have a bunch of simplifications here as well this is common to this so i have r a r b minus r a r c divided by plus r c okay so this gives me a fourth relation i can use this fourth relation and subtract maybe the third relation and so this will give me r3 minus r2 minus the third relation which is uh, r2 plus r3 and this should be equal to uh, they have the same denominator so i'm just going to roll a line put the denominator in here and then up there i'm going to put uh the r a r b minus r a r c and then minus uh we have r a r b and then minus r a r c so here on this side of the equation we will have uh no this wouldn't simplify r3 is going to simplify this r3 so i'm going to have 2 r2 negative 2 r2 and this will be um of course this will be cancelled by this so we have negative 2 r a r c over r a plus r b plus r c so in the end since this simplifies this we get r2 is equal to r a r c over r a plus r b plus r c so we get the relationship between r2 and the other resistances in the delta so similarly if we were to derive r3 and r1 by the same method we're going to have r3 as r a r b over r a plus r b plus r c and r1 as r b r c over r a plus r b plus r c so this is how we move from y to uh, from delta to y okay now let's suppose we already have the expressions from y to delta and now we have to obtain from delta to y okay so now we are gonna say for example r3 divided by r1 this is going to give us r a r b divided by the sum of the resistances 
over R B R C divided by some of the resistances. So this is going to cancel this. Uh, we also have this simplifying this, so this gives me R A over R C. So this implies R A is equal to R C over R one times R three, for example. So if we take R three over R two, yes, we get uh, R A R B divided by the sum of the resistances over mm, R A R C divided by some of the resistances so this is going to simplify this as well this so this gives me RB over RC so this implies RB is nothing but uh, RC over R2 multiplied by R3 so I will place the expressions for RA and RB in R2 so this gives me R2 is equal to RA oh no RA I get RA so let me just write it as RC multiplied by RA which is RC R3 over R1 and then divided by RA so which is RC R3 over R1 plus RB which is R3 over R2 times RC plus RC we can just simplify all the RC's and uh, put this to the to a common denominator down there so we're gonna have in the numerator RC R3 divided by R1 and in the denominator we are going to have R3 R2 plus R3 R1 plus uh, putting this to a common denominator so R1 R2 divided by R1 R2 so this gives me uh, this is going to be switched over so we have um, RC R3 R1 R2 over R1 on the top and this is going to be R3 R2 plus R3 R1 plus R1 R2 so this is going to cancel this remember this was equal to R2 so this will cancel this so we are left with 1 is equal to uh, this is going to give me RC R3 over R1 R2 plus R1 R3 plus R2 R3 so therefore RC is going to be uh, switching this over so we're going to have R1 R2 plus R1 R3 plus R2 R3 divided by R3 this is how we get RC so if we do similarly for RA and RB we get the relationships RA is R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R1 R3 over R1 and finally we get RB is R1 R2 plus R1 R3 plus R2 R3 over R2 
so this is what we get for delta y 